Hey there folks, this is Dave on David's Brain. Welcome back to our Let's Play Persona 5 Royal for the PS4. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and get triggered by Patreon links in the description at the bottom. We interrupt our regularly scheduled broadcast to bring up, yes, the true mastermind behind uh, behind Akechi, the mental shutdowns, and all their problems, Masayoshi Shido. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together. We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him. Have you figured out who's behind all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. He said, Shido-san. Shido? Feels like I heard that somewhere. He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Yep. Uh, who? Lex Luthor! I believe he's a politician. Remember Ryuji? He said his speech was too loud. It's Japanese Lex Luthor! I knew it! It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom... <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this, just based on the connections I had from my previous job. I think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shido. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do. So I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when, Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? <sighs> the issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for Prime Minister. Found. Got a hit! Well, duh. It ain't a surprise he has one. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? Let's see here. Nod's election. Yeah, no. Only one place a guy like Shido would, uh, would call... Uh, would call uh. Yeah, there's only one place a guy like Shido would center all of his distortions. The Diet Building. We got a hit! How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the Diet Building? 
Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? And what about Akechi? Simple. He shows up. No need to take waste him time out. with him. We just gotta hit the head. Nobody against it? Of course. He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That reminds me. What are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Oh, yeah. Miss Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, all right? This whole thing would be for nothing. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives, and even made Goro Akechi, a student, assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff too? We're intellectuals, you know. Well, That's most of them. why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. Yeah, you got up against criminals before, but Shido, Shido was a monster, plain and simple. Made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. Back then, you were in the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. Cough, the cough. general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. 
I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals, which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic Ace Detective was born. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. <laughs> Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up. And they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> the time has finally come. Just a little more and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. That is my duty as the Chosen One. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country. Perhaps even the world. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. Well, and how do I put this? Looks like things have finally settled down. I'm just gonna get real busy for you starting tomorrow, right? Get some rest. Well then. Chief's right. Let's take it easy for today. Yeah, so... I should write something. Now you know the truth. Akechi was uh, is just a lapdog working for Masayoshi Shido. And his goal is to take over all of Japan as Prime Minister. So? Oh, by the way, the police reported your death isn't going to show up at your school. No need to worry. Seems Prosecutor Nijima worked out some kind of deal with the higher-ups or something. I mean, they haven't even said anything to me, but as long as you stay quiet, you'll be fine. Well, and how do I put this? And I guess if they reported your death now, they'd basically be saying you were a phantom thief. They can't really go around announcing what the fan themes are, so I'm sure they'll avoid that. Um... At any rate, I'm glad you're safe and sound. But even that's putting it too lightly. You had it rough in there, didn't ya? <laughs> nah, don't worry. Nah, don't worry about Sorry. it. Akechi was after you all along. I knew it was risky, but we had no choice but to depend on him. But thanks to your tenacity, you were able to fool him. It's payback time. Let's make him regret underestimating the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah, speaking of, let me just see if my equipment... Ah yes, I got the Coronor Storm back from Akechi. Yeah, now he's out of the party. Yeah, no sense that he would still have all, all of our equipment. Let's see here. Although, I'll let Akechi keep his sword. Alright. Story update time. Yep. Return from Ruin Part 1. A company
Accompanied by Akechi, the Phantom Thieves infiltrate Side Nijima's palace, one inspired by a casino. The Phantom Thieves find and defeat Shadow Sai, however, Ren's arrested by the, uh, in the palace by real world police. As he's arrested, he learns of a traitor in their midst. News of Ren's arrest circulates throughout Tokyo. Ren's taken to an underground interrogation room and rigorously questioned by police, then by Sai Nijima bringing the story full circle, finally. As Ren fights the effects of the drugs and remains silent about the Phantom Thieves, an assassin sent by the real culprit closes in. The assassin is none other than Goro Akechi himself, who pulls a gun on Ren and kills him. News reports of his death label it a suicide. Part 2 The ruined Igor warned about back in April seems to have finally arrived. Except Ren didn't die, his death was a carefully constructed fake-out. The Phantom Thieves learned Akechi was a traitor by bugging his phone. Uh, but, agreed to, uh, but agreed to his plan since whoever he worked for could hide a murderer. They needed to simultaneously prevent Ren's uh, murder and expose Akechi. The plan was to lure Akechi into the undistorted police station outside Sai's palace. There, he would kill a fake Ren cognition and think he succeeded. At Sai, the police station is indistinguishable from reality, so if someone could be let in, they wouldn't know the difference. By having Sai leave Ren's phone on after the interrogation, Futaba could remotely activate the metadata and have Akechi kill the fake Ren. Although a catch, through Akechi, they learn the name of the person who's really pulling all the strings, Masayoshi Shido, who used Akechi to kill his political rivals. Shujin's principal, Okumura, and even the SIU director all had shady ties to Shido. When the truth come to light, the team focuses on taking down Shido. So yeah, basically, thanks to Akechi, Shido was able to accrue political favors for, uh, from the uh, from uh, from wealthy uh, from people of power, like with Okumura. And also through Akechi interrogating people's shadows, he was able to get people like the SIU director to, uh, well, basically, uh, basically force their cooperation. So yeah, uh, Akechi would go out and kill people, uh, uh, go and cause mental shutdowns for the VIP clients to support Shido. But of course, once Okumura got a little too big for his boots, Shido and Akechi both agreed that, she, uh, that Okumura needed to be taken out of the equation. And since the Phantom Thieves' popularity was on the rise, they had another contact of theirs go and hack the uh, Phantom Thieves' website uh, and place Okumura in charge uh, at, the, at the top of the polls. So that way, the Phantom Thieves would go in, uh, take down Okumura, and then Akechi would kill Okumura's shadow, and thus all the blame for Akechi's crimes would be placed on the Thieves. And of course, since the principal uh, was going to, well, expose uh, his involvement in this collaborate in this conspiracy, well, Akechi had to go and uh, put him and the director out to pasture once their time came. Yeah, I mean, Shido and Akechi had themselves a pretty nasty business going on. Remember how I hijacked your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. How so? Well, remember how I put that wiretap app in Akechi's phone? Yep. Basically, that let me see GPS info for two phones, yours and his. I'd be able to tell the precise moment Sai Nijima, who had your phone, ran into a catchy. That's when I saw my chance, and beep, sent the signal to activate the Metaverse Navigator. But there was a chance they'd just pass each other without saying a single word. <laughs> That's why we needed you to tell Sai Nijima to show the phone to a catchy. This plan still surprises me, no matter how many times I hear it. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse Nav. It's a mysterious app, after all. But you know how it has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> pretty good, huh? Pretty crazy, pretty insane, but yep, you pulled it off, kid. It may not have looked like it, but everyone else was risking their lives too. Though there's no doubt you were the most at risk. I mean, you actually got arrested. No duh. But it seems like all the drugs and stuff made you forget the details of the plan. Admittedly, it was a little hazy. Want me to explain how it all went down? It might take a bit. Might as well. Well, since the rest of us didn't get captured, we had to act. We had to pretend we never wanted you to get arrested. Pretend the suicide news was a real shock. Basically, we had to act like we didn't know anything, 24-7. The enemy knows who we are, so we couldn't let our guard down even once while you were gone. If they had people watching us and realized what our plan was, they would have killed you immediately. Want to hear more? Let's keep going. Another tough part was figuring out how to get Sai Nijima and Akechi back from the metaverse. 
In order to return to reality, you have to go back to the point where you came into the metaverse. So, Sai and Akechi had to go through where the nav was activated, as in, the hall where they met. Akechi would just come back the same way after the assassination. The real issue was Sai Nijima. We needed to stop her for a moment before she headed back toward the interrogation room. But nothing can be sent to a phone inside a palace. So, I had to program the messages in beforehand. In doing so, I made it seem like the messages were coming at that exact moment in time. That part was kinda last minute, so I had to pull an all-nighter trying to get it set up. I'm really on a roll here. Wanna hear some more? Oh please, let's just keep going. Uh, let's hear about how you're a little wunderkind. Let me see... Another problematic thing was... Oh yeah, tying a catchy up! That was really tough. Uh, I obviously don't mean the real Akechi. Even if we could do that, it would ruin our plan. Oh yeah, Sai's cognitive version of him. The one we had to tie up was Sai Nijima's cognitive Akechi. This part's really complicated. I know you're tired. You sure you want to hear all of this now? Again, let's keep going. Not a single detail, no stone unturned. Well, we needed to lure Akechi into Sai Nijima's palace and have him kill the cognitive version. But... Akechi would have entered the palace immediately after meeting Sai Nijima in the hallway, right? Because of that, there was a pretty decent chance he'd run into the cognitive Akechi. And if that happened, Akechi would have totally realized we'd lured him into the palace. Nobody actually even thought of this possibility until the night before the assassination. Oh, Jesus! Really? Makoto realized in the middle of the night, then it was a huge mess trying to figure out what to do. In the end, we chose to sneak into the metaverse while the plan was happening to tie up the cognition. Because you told Sae to show him the phone, we expected her to chat with him for at least a bit. So, we had a few minutes to strike after the cognitive Akechi showed up, but before the nav activated. It was Operation Tie Him Up! Though it wasn't really much of an operation in the end. Thankfully, Sai Nijima didn't know his true nature, so the one that appeared was an ordinary kid. It was pretty simple surrounding him, knocking him out, and tossing him on another floor. But man, watching Makoto's skill was super amazing. I guess she does use Knuckles as her weapon. Uh, yeah, so she's not exactly... Uh, she's uh, had herself a bit of a rumble tumble every so often, so... Basically, what I'm trying to say is... Appreciate what everyone else did. <sighs> I just can't help but rant when I'm talking about stuff that interests me. I hear ya. Sorry about that. Just focus on resting up. You don't have to worry about anything else. And seriously, well done. Everybody got that? Nice. Oh yeah, Dennis, I know you miss me. Uh, don't worry, buddy. Wow. I'm back. Yeah. Even though it's the same old attic, it's an important place for you, huh? Nice. You really did a great job. Just take it easy today. Yeah. Let's just take a little trip into the thief den to go and see what's uh, what's changed, and then afterwards we'll call it a day. Because we got way more exposition after this. Palace Baker, booby, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Crossroads and Milady. Speaking of, so yeah, doing good. All right, let's see here. Crossroads. Every man should have a go-to spot. This one's perfect for a mature outing. You think? Seriously? I feel like the food here is just gonna be tiny appetizers. Better chill in a normal restaurant where you can stuff your face. Man... You just don't get it, Ryuji. A man of class doesn't seek to stuff his face. Hmm. Uh-huh. So you'd rather be here than a sushi place, huh? Fine, then. Hey, wait! Sushi has something to do with it! <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Milady. May I get a word in? Haru, would you mind if I observe the underside of that sc <laughs> Wow, Yusuke, you, you have no tact, do you, dimwit? Huh? Fascinating. I would like to carefully examine the myriad firearms hidden within your persona's clothing. <sighs> oh, you met Milady. Uh, yeah. What? Y y yes, Makoto, I want to see. I want to see your panties. Oh, I want to see. Ugh, Jesus. Yusuke, phrasing, Jesus. Anyways, yeah, size palace. And 
and yeah, it's... Jesus, it's gaudy. Alright, let's see here. Giant slot machine. Replica of the giant slot machine from each of his palace. Yeah, I wonder what that represents to her. Let's see here. Egypt's ruler form. Statue of Leviathan. The form of Stag Egypt's twist desires. And yeah, there's Shadow Sai, and then there's that giant ungodly abomination of. Uh, yeah, made out of guns, armor, and pure hate. Alright, Milady. You know. You know how Haru decided to join us after awakening her persona? I was pretty happy about that. Indeed. We had truly started off on the wrong foot. She even told us we weren't qualified to be Phantom Thieves. But someone like that changed her mind. I felt a great pressure to live up to her expectations. Right. Good. If we don't, we don't deserve to be called Phantom Thieves. Let's see here. The giant slot machine. A giant slot machine found in Egypt's palace. The bar symbol is a modified version of an early logo of a gum company. Huh. Maybe it's related to like a brand of gum that she liked when she was a kid or something like that? I don't know. Anyways. A part of Sight uh, Nijima's ruler form. A part of Sight Nijima created by her subconscious. She lost her sense of self as she competed in a male dominant society. And yeah, that's a giant screaming monster covered in robotic junk! Yeesh! I mean, hey, you want to be competitive, just, yeah, bring a big honking uh, sword as tall as you are, and more guns than, uh, than frickin' Rob, uh, and more guns that would make Red Browns shake in his boots. Ugh. I'll just add this. Alright, anyways, gonna call it a day here, because, oh boy. So... Until next time, folks, this is David on David's Brain. See you when I see ya. Bye-bye.